Now, no matter how hard you try, at some point in your life, you are going to take a bad photograph, a photograph that might be slightly blurred or grainy or just doesn't have the right light on it. So uh, a tool like this is really, really handy for sorting out those problems. And also for old photos that you maybe took ages ago and you used an old fashioned camera, maybe printed out the actual photo and then had to scan it into your computer, you're never going to get that big and looking great except now you can with a tool called upscaler Dot pro so upscale.pro there's a link underneath this video if you want to try this out and in this video I'm going to show you some really cool examples of what it can do so looking at their homepage here you just simply upload your image and uh, up to 10 megabytes per image and then you can get started and these are the things that it can do so you can see this image here um, this has been upscaled really really big look at this you just zoom in and you can zoom in and the picture quality is outstanding you can go right up to a gigapixel using AI so that's what's happening here we're using AI to upscale this uh, this photograph here any photo that you want to upload and then you can make things a lot sharper as well and as I say take like noise out of pictures and things you can see there like that but I'm actually going to try a few examples and uh, you can see what I mean so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take this one here which is an image I found as you can see it's pretty small it's a tiny little old-fashioned World War Two um, picture of a six-year-old here goodness knows what the lad was doing uh, dressed up like that but there you go and then what we can do is now we've got it ready you can see at the moment it's only 580 by 446 pixels so it's pretty small and it's in web P format I'm gonna make that like eight times that size so now look at the resolution here 4640 by 3568 from that tiny little um, photograph with I don't even know how many pixels it was but it wasn't many so we'll just click uh, start right here and uh, yeah say in file size it was super super small you if I stretch that out in fact what we'll do is we will compare them we will stretch out that picture try and make it big and then see how good upscale.pro is at being able to really fill those pixels out and allow you to make that image bigger and keep the sharpness or, or improve on the sharpness. So let's first of all go and grab the original. Here it is. There we go. So this is the original and stretch it out. You can see it starts to, yeah, look pretty bad to say the least. It's all sort of pixelated, bit blurry, not looking that impressive at all. It's okay if it's tiny but then you can't really see much when it's tiny, so it's no good. Now, um, in the time that it took me to show you that, it has now done its job and we can go and download that image. So I'm gonna download it and now we can take a look. Whoa, here we go. So this is how much bigger it's got here. And if we just move it down here like this, and I can put them side by side now and you can see what a good job it's done, particularly I think in in sort of sharpening the image up as well. So here's the other one. Now let's start um, pulling it in or making it bigger. So you've got this one on your left is the original image. There's the boy's face just there. And then this one is the upscaled version on our right. And I'm gonna zoom in again and look at the difference here between those two faces. And I could print this out if I wanted to, um, and it would be enormous. There you go, let me get that back. There you go, look at the difference. As that is pretty amazing. It's kind of filled in the little badge on the top of the hat there. The eyes look pretty sharp um, compared to that left-hand side. We can see that he's got a, a couple of buttons on uh, underneath his chin there. And on the left, they're just sort of blurry dots. Teeth are pretty good as well. But one thing I like about it is it, that it's kind of maintained that old look, but it has now, um, you know, got it all sharp. Now look at, the, look at the picture of him dressed up in the uniform on the left compared to the right. So very, very clever. I think it's done quite a good job with, with the eyes as well. It hasn't messed up the hands or anything. So there's one example of something you can do. You can take old photos from this is in this case like World War II and make them look amazing. So I'm gonna cross those two off now. And then, you know, just to show that it, it probably was not a fluke 
I'm gonna download another one. Let me go to my desktop here. Here we go. Uh, this is another World War II one, I believe. Yep, this is like a portrait photo and also I think of some prisoners as well. So we are gonna make this one four times as big. We don't need to make it that massive. Original pixels were 620 by 413, which for print is just useless. And then um, we'll just click uh, start processing. But look in presets. And if you want to have it as a certain size for a photo, then you can just go and pick from these pre-selected sizes or just straight up make it bigger. And then the other things that it can do is, as I say, to sharpen the images. You can make the face look more prominent. You can denoise and then you can just enhance the image full stop to make it look a lot better. So it's quite a versatile bit of kit. Um, if you want to try it out, take a look. Now let's get this image up into our preview window so you can see how it started. Here we are, this is a World War II uh, hero pilot, I believe, um, from my uh, memory there on Google. There you go. A great picture, but you know, as you zoom in, it does start getting pretty blurry. You can see all the edges blurry there of him. And uh, you know, there they are marching there, being marched by Germans by the look of it, uh, as prisoners. So now let's take a look at how this one does. You can see it on here as well. This is a really good way to compare. Look on the left, that is the before. And now as I go over, look at, look at the difference in his face there. Like for one thing, watch the whites of his eyes and the reflection in the center of his pupil just here on the left and right. Look at the difference of them there. You can see them down the bottom. So it's an awful lot better the way that it does that. And zooming in, because we have made it bigger, we can easily uh, check that out too. So let's get him up. And then we've got your AI one on the right. And it's an awful lot more clearer. And we make it even bigger still. We can zoom in on this. That's the crazy thing. You can really zoom in and go, go wild if you want to. Look at that. Look at the pixels. It, it has to get to a crazy large level before you start seeing any pixels. You can just about make some out now like that. So fantastic tool. Really, really useful for dealing with old photographs, but also for new ones. So if I just uh, upload this new picture here, but it's really tiny. It's an eight kilobyte uh, picture of a woman there in a square. And I'm going to four times her. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm going to go four times, which will make that a 1024 by 1024 Instagram size post, basically. So let's start processing that. And I'll show you what this one looks like. Teeny weeny. There you go. That's the original size there. So completely useless, you know, for doing anything major. And if we if we zoom into her, get a hold of that. There you go. Now you can already see just from there, it's starting to get pixelated quite badly. Look at that. And that's because we're just pulling apart the image here. It's no good at all for using um, for anything in terms of printing, no way. And really uh, with that size, not even that useful for sort of social media or anything anyway. Nobody wants to be posting pictures that are slightly blurred. So let's go and see how well it did. Let's download it now and then we'll open her up here. Here we go. There is our much bigger version and you can see that looks pretty good actually. I really like that. I mean, you compare it, if we zoom in, let's go the same size. I'd say, whoops, no, a bit too much. About there, there you go. Look at the difference in that. One's really sharp. You can see all of her hair's good compared to the uh, blurry bit on the left. And I think that is a, a really fantastic tool and you can try it out. There's a link underneath this video. And I hope at some point or another, this comes in really useful for you um, with your photos and to uh, maybe bring some old photos to life. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, press the like button and I'll see you in the next video.